Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video. Guys, in this video, I'll be talking about how we can implement the polynomial regression in RStudio. I've already have opened up the RStudio in front of you. And uh, in my previous video, I've already have explained about uh, that what is polynomial regression, how it is related or how it's different from the simple linear regression and the multiple linear regression. So today uh, we're gonna uh, uh, work on a very small data set. Uh, I can show you the data set on which we'll be working today in which this is a small data set in which we got three columns available position level and salary and i've already have drawn the uh, relationship between the level and salary because these are the the important columns for me uh, i will be leaving the first column behind because it's having no uh, role to play in our uh, calculation right so you can see that the relationship is not a linear relationship right so we'll be uh, first we'll be implementing the linear model on it and then we'll be implementing the uh, this polynomial linear uh, model on it. Okay, we'll see that uh, wh what's a change, what's a difference we get in uh, when we apply both the models. All right, so let's get started. I've already have uh, this my R Studio ready. So let's first of all um, get your data set. So I'm going to load up the data set in a variable. Uh, I'm calling it as maybe a polynomial model. So in this, I'm gonna read up a data with the read.csv the file equal to file is available in my d drive so i have to give that address all right so uh, it is done the name of the file is position underscore salaries dot csv and then i have to give the header equal to true all right we are done so now as i already told you the i'm just concerned with the the last two columns and we all are aware that index of r starts from one so it will be I'll, do, I'll be doing the subsetting here and I'm only be taking into consideration the second and third column. All right, so let's see what I what we got. So when I call it, you can see we have a level and salary uh, available here. Okay, that's good. So moving further, now afterwards, now we have to, um, uh, let's, fitting, uh, let's do the fitting of linear regression to the data set. For this, I'm gonna call it as LR, linear regression equal to I'm going to use the linear model okay and we all are aware what are the uh, important arguments of it first of all formula formula uh, we just give uh, y uh, tilde x okay we always give this in notation y tilde x and we all know we all know that what is y and x here okay first of all we need to give the uh, the dependent variable the dependent variable is in our case is salary so we have to give salary okay and we all are aware the that we just have one column available either you can mention level or you can simply use the dot i've already explained in my previous video dot indicates all the independent variables okay so dot uh, means all the independent variables but in our case we just have one variable which is level okay and now give the data data equal to pm that's it we are done data equal to pm here all right so let's press enter Okay, now let's check the summary of it. Let's check the summary of this LR, linear regression. You can see that uh, I've already explained this meaning of the stars here, okay? You can see that level has a significant uh, effect on the salary. You can see we have a two stars and I've already explained the more the number of stars, more is the significance and it's have a significance on the uh, salary column, all right? So moving further, uh, we all be we all, we all again will be checking this on the when we make use of the polynomial regression okay moving further now let's do the fitting of polynomial regression to the data set and we all are aware that in which we have to take care uh, we have to also generate some columns here uh, because we all know that the what's the formula of it it will be we will be using just a single variable but the power of it like x x x1 x square x cube x4 times x5 times in this way so let's do it first of all uh, what we'll be doing we'll be calling it as uh, uh, I'm, I'm calling it as polynomial uh, maybe reg regression p reg equal to and again the same formula lm uh, lm the formula equal to okay the formula equal to salary same step salary tilt dot and 
let's give the data equal to pm now this actually you will be wondering that this there'll be no difference right yeah there's no difference so what we have to do first before we do that let me uh, remove that line for a while i'm just cutting it here so that i can paste it later first of all we need to generate some extra columns which will be uh, playing an important part in our polynomial regression for that what i'm going to do is this pm i'm going to generate another column it's called now level 2 okay level 2 and this level 2 meaning is that we are going to do what we're going to do the square of our, this column level and let's do the square level square okay done and in the same way let's generate another one level 3 and done okay now you can see the pm now is having three columns instead of one column we have used one column in the case of this linear model but we have now used this uh, like more than one column in the case of polynomial regression okay now let's paste it here the thing that you were having earlier all right so everything is available okay it's done it's done okay now what we can do is let's check out the summary summary of p reg all right you can see now that now this uh, you can see the summary in which you can see level 3 is having more significance followed by the level 2 and level all right maybe it's it will be more, not be much clear that what's the difference we are getting in the uh, case of the uh, lean simple linear and the uh, polynomial regression models what we can do is we can visualize the results it will be more clear right now we are getting the statistics we are getting the things in numbers let's do it in the form of what let's do it in the form of uh, the visualization for this uh, we are going to use the ggplot so let's uh, load the library the ggplot okay it will be more clear the picture will be more clear what will happen when we go with the uh, visualization in the case of linear and polynomial regression so we are just loading a library here ggplot okay moving further okay. it's taking some time yes done now for this uh, let's do the plot so the function is ggplot okay now keep on adding the components or the layers of ggplot the first layer is let's draw the visualization i'm doing it with the help of gom point okay the gom point uh, will have first the aesthetic function in which we need to define our x and y labels x and y axis sorry so x on x it will be having uh, pm dollar level okay this is for the uh, linear regression results okay that's why we just including level so it is a uh, level then for y we are going to have pm dollar salary okay this is gm plot okay sorry so we also have to add here comma uh, we have to add here the other other components of it for this i'm going to add color color for this uh, points so let's do it with the red color color you can use any color of your choice i'm using here is red okay it's done now let's add the other components <coughs> afterwards uh, now it we are going to uh, do the prediction okay for this we're going to add a new line so i'm using gm line so gm line will add a new line to the existing line okay and here uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just uh, do the same so what, what we can do is we just we can simply copy paste this line aesthetic till here okay copy and paste it here okay so let's uh, do some changes here so here we need to uh, the x-axis will be remain same the x-axis will remain same it will be a level but the y-axis and the color will be changed okay so the red point the red color this the the original points will be shown with the red color and the prediction will be shown with the other color so i'm keeping it as blue here okay so it will be blue and also let's change the uh, y-axis y-axis it will be my prediction for prediction what we're going to do is we're going to use the predict column so let's do it uh, predict and over there let's uh, use the arguments of predict the first argument will be the linear uh, model 
it was uh, I guess LM right if I'm not wrong sorry LR linear regression LR okay and followed by new data the new data will be what the entire data set so we're gonna use it as PM all right so it is PM right yeah so also add now the other stuff plus gg title let's add the title for it so i'm i'm going it as the results of linear regression okay you can give any uh, title to it now we can also add the x label and y label so x lab okay regression plus x lab we are adding here the label as level and y label okay the last one which will be salary y label it will be salary okay i guess we are done let's check it out if it's working you can see uh, let me show you in proper way uh, this one that you can see it properly so i can zoom in let's see check it out the results okay now as of uh, we already know knew from a start that the simple linear model for this prediction line will not be fit in for this because you can see that most of the uh, the points are either the underneath or above it okay so it's not a like good results so let's now try it with the help of this uh, polynomial regression okay this is we are done with the linear regression now you can it's pretty much clear that for this type of non-linear relationship i can't make use of the simple linear regression so now let's do it now do it uh, for the polynomial thing so for this again not be writing everything again what we can do is we can simply copy paste this entire code okay and customize it for the polynomial for the first thing what we're going to do is we are just making change here instead of linear i'm going i'm going to write here polynomial okay this is done now also now make use of here we have to change the the first thing so ggplot uh, it's all done level it's okay and uh, the salary is okay okay now okay data set line so this is just made to uh, need to make some changes here instead of this we have to change yes instead of lr i need to give the uh its regressor i guess what it name the name was let me check from the history it was preg okay it was preg p r e g okay i guess we are done nothing more required i guess let me check it out again okay let's now check it out press enter now you can see uh, in this results let me show you properly this is the results we got from the polynomial regression and it is more fit in in this case you can see prediction is more aligned with the points and one thing more uh, we can also uh, uh, we can also refine the results by adding keep on adding more degree right now here we have added the results up to x square plus x cube means the level scale and level cube if you are adding the another layer to it another level another column to it this is that will be more refined let's do it okay before we end up this video so what we can do is i'm gonna add another layer to it okay for this i'm going to call it as level 4 level 4 and it will be level 4 okay pm is now having level 4 and also do it for the let's repeat this thing again it will be pm yes preg okay done now let's do this again now we have added uh, another layer to it let's see if there's any change in the results you can see now the the slope has been changed we can see it was now more aligned the more more of the observation points are now falling on the prediction it means we are we have refined the results and if you keep on adding the more and more levels like this, your result will be more aligned, right? It will be more accurate. 
I hope uh, you must have understood from this video that how we can implement polynomial regression and how we can compare the results of polynomial and the simple linear regression. So it means we have made use of, we have made a model for the non-linear relationship, right? Thanks for watching guys. See you next video.